sustainability seamlessly integrated. This is how the BMW Group is transforming electromobility. Creating the best solutions for our customers is the driving force behind our pioneering spirit. The BMW iX, the BMW i4 and the Mini Cooper SE already prove that our visions become series models. Get ready to meet the newest member of our zero emission fleet. It's great to see people here back at the BMW Welt. Individual mobility remains important to many people, also during the pandemic. And now we are moving forward in a way that is electric, digital and sustainable. We aim for more than 2 million electric vehicles by the end of 2025. All of them representing zero emission driving. We're also lowering CO2 emissions throughout the entire value chain and reusing valuable raw materials. Our goal is the circular economy. Sustainability that's joyful, whether on four or two wheels. Just last weekend, I went on a ride on my motorcycle. Maybe next time, fully electric. Dear BMW Motorrad fans, we expect 2021 to be BMW Motorrad's best year yet. Our customers can look forward to 10 new models and model updates. And the new electric star for the city is our BMW CE04. It will come to the market next spring. Today, we are celebrating its world premiere together. Just like the CE04, all future new BMW Motorrad models for the urban mobility will be pure electric. Markus Ram is responsible for BMW Motorrad. Hello, Markus. Hello, Oliver. Recently, we were out motorcycling together, and today we are at the world premiere of the BMW CE04. It's great to see you at this very special event. And you are right, BMW Motorrad, we are fully committed to electric mobility, especially in the urban setting. And the C04 is the next milestone in our e-mobility roadmap. That sounds great, Marcus. Let's have a look at it. Well, this is a fantastic concept. It probably means I won't mind leaving my GS in the garage in the future. The BMW CE04 combines an e-drive with emotion and motorcycling fun. The latest technology and the best battery cells, which also provide power in the BMW iX. BMW Motorrad benefits from the innovative power of the BMW Group. And as a customer, that's exactly what I expect from BMW. Yes, that was the goal from the beginning of the project. The C04 combines an emotional design aesthetic and lifestyle with outstanding riding fun. Easy handling, impressive torque for very fast start at traffic lights. It's always great fun to be on the road with the C04. It's really something you have to have tried out for yourself, but pictures say more than a thousand words. Let's now take a look at what the C04 looks like in action.
BMW Motorrad clearly stands for innovation and design leadership in the field of urban premium mobility. Exactly 10 years ago, we did pioneering work when we presented the Concept E. With the BMW C Evolution, we were the first manufacturer to premiere a groundbreaking e-mobility product in 2013. The visionary concept link was the starting point on the way to our CE04. The impressive result of our bold and curious spirit, always in search of the best solutions. Solutions that are perfectly designed to make day-to-day -day life easier in an intelligent way, especially in urban settings. And when it comes to electromobility, in particular, we have the great advantage over the competition to be able to access the huge e-technology know-how that exists within the BMW Group. For instance, the fifth generation battery cell from the iX and i4 are used to power the CE04. For our customers, this means they can rely on the high level of BMW quality and safety in the field of battery cell technology, as well as being able to access BMW charging services such as a wall box. Our goal was to think ahead and find solutions that inspire our customers worldwide. That's why we work closely with our international markets from the very beginning to incorporate the urban mobility know-how into the developing of the CE04. Now let's take a look at the importance of the CE04 from the point of view of our French colleagues. Hello Paris. Ici en France, nous nous réjouissons de l'arrivée du nouveau CE04. Notre pays est en train d'accélérer la transition vers des modes de transport toujours plus propre. Dans ce contexte, l'engagement du BMW Group est aussi clair que concret. L'arrivée du CE04 marque une étape clé dans cette nouvelle transition, avec un design, des performances et une connectivité qui porte l'expérience urbaine à un niveau encore jamais vu jusqu'ici. Bref, une véritable révolution silencieuse. La France a une véritable culture du scooter. Et ce CE04 suscite logiquement beaucoup d'attentes. Nos clients français ont été les premiers à passer à l'électrique, avec le scooter C-Evolution qui a connu un véritable succès depuis 2013. D'ailleurs, c'est plus de 50% des ventes mondiales qui ont été réalisées chez nous, ce qui illustre toute l'avant-garde de la clientèle française. De Paris à la Côte d'Azur, nous aspirons tous à une mobilité plus durable et plus facile en ville. Et le CE04 apporte clairement une solution à ces enjeux actuels. Notre façon de vivre, de travailler et de se déplacer en ville change, encore plus depuis la crise sanitaire. Et là aussi, le deux-roues apporte une solution de mobilité individuelle et sereine. Le CE04, c'est la garantie d'un plaisir de conduire responsable, mais aussi du plaisir de la ville au quotidien. Grâce à des temps de trajet optimisés, un stationnement facilité et toujours avec style. Et avec jusqu'à 130 km d'autonomie, le CE04 vous permet d'aborder sereinement tous vos trajets quotidiens. Tous ceux qui connaissent déjà le plaisir de l'électrique sur deux roues vous le diront. C'est le sourire assuré sous le casque. Alors, qu'attendez-vous pour goûter à une nouvelle expérience urbaine With the scooter, you're unbeatably flexible in the city. And for me personally, scooters are the hidden champions of urban mobility. The BMW ZE04 is extremely fun to ride, believe me, and with its powerful maximum output of 41 horsepower, it is fast and agile to navigate through the urban jungle. But for entry-level riders, a performance-reduced version is available as well. The particular experience of the ze 4s electric drive is its outstanding acceleration. It gets up to 50 km per hour in just 2.6 seconds, which is faster than any other scooter. The maximum speed for both versions is 120 km per hour. With the range up to 130 km, the ZE04 enables relaxed, emission-free riding and ensures excellent day-to-day -day practicality. With advanced control systems such as automatic stability control, dynamic traction control, the newest generation of cornering ABS and four riding modes, the ZE04 offers everything to be desired for in terms of riding dynamics and stability. The short charging times are a big plus as well, thanks to charging technology based on the systems used in our BMW cars. Safe, straightforward charging is carried out with the integrated charger, either at a regular household socket, at a wall box like you can see it here, or at a public charging station. 
In just 45 minutes, you can charge the battery from 20% to 80% with the optional quick charger. One highlight for sure is also the standard 10.25 inch TFT display that we have here. This puts the Z04 at the very top of the segment. Navigation, media, telephone are all easy to use. We will be offering the Z04 all over the world and I'm sure our customers will have just as much fun with it as I do. The scooter was designed to be integrated seamlessly into your daily life. A new future-oriented form of urban mobility together with innovative riding equipment such as this cool jacket for example. Hallo im Namen von BMW Motorrad Deutschland. Wir sind sehr stolz darauf, unsere Begeisterung für den neuen BMW CE04 mit euch heute zu teilen. Ich bin davon überzeugt, dass dieser innovative E-Scooter die urbane Elektromobilität auf zwei Rädern auf ein neues Niveau heben wird. Wir glauben, dass der CE04 aufgrund seines revolutionären Designs besonders Menschen ansprechen wird, die offen für neue Denkansätze sind und ständig nach smarten, intelligenten Lösungen für ihren Alltag suchen. Menschen, die Teil einer nachhaltigen Mobilitätslösung sein wollen, indem sie sich bewusst für diese Art von neuer Technologie entscheiden. Technologien der nächsten Generation, überlegene Sicherheitsmerkmale und innovative Connectivity-Lösungen gehören beim CE04 zur Standardausstattung. Und mit dem umfangreichen Angebot an Zubehör, Sonderausstattungen und Farbvarianten entscheidet ihr selbst, wie euer persönlicher CE04 aussieht. Mein Kollege Alexander aus Spanien erzählt euch im nächsten Clip, wie sich urbane Elektromobilität in seiner Stadt anfühlt. Desde BMW Motorrad de España, creemos que es el momento perfecto para replantearse el concepto actual del scooter y lanzar al mercado un modelo moderno y totalmente eléctrico, como el nuevo BMW C04. Como en otros muchos países a lo largo del mundo, España busca reducir la contaminación y las emisiones de la forma más rápida posible. En este contexto, hay un gran foco en la ampliación de la infraestructura de recarga eléctrica en todo el país y en nuestras casas, a través de un mayor número de puntos disponibles. BMW Motorrad ve el nuevo scooter eléctrico C04 como una importante contribución al mix de transporte en las ciudades españolas que son, por supuesto, el escenario perfecto para la electromovilidad. Somos muy afortunados aquí en España de tener uno de los climas más favorables en Europa para montar en todo tipo de moto. En este sentido, queda claro que este planteamiento orientado al futuro es una elección inteligente como alternativa a los conceptos de motor de combustión. Esperamos ver muchos de ellos en el interior de nuestras ciudades, donde los scooters eléctricos desarrollan sus mejores prestaciones. Pero el CE04 será también una buena alternativa para el tráfico de entrada y salida a las ciudades, dada su mayor autonomía, alto nivel de confort y velocidad máxima. Además de una experiencia de conducción apasionante, ofrecemos una avanzada apuesta de conectividad que hace de este scooter pionero de un auténtico centro de comunicación, especialmente con la interacción entre vehículo, piloto y también equipamiento motorista. Con motor eléctrico, divertido de conducir y totalmente integrado con la forma de vida del usuario, sin duda el C04 redefine el concepto del scooter. From a design perspective, the CE04 is a great achievement for us too. For us designers, it's always exciting to imagine how we will live and how we will move in the future. We think about questions such as how will society and how will our living conditions and therefore our mobility change over the next decades? What do our customers expect from their vehicles? And what does digitalization and connectivity mean for our mobility needs in the future? So as a link between the analog and the digital world of the users, the CE04 is actually both. It's a means of transport and communication for the urban commuter. 
With its innovative package, it sets out to redefine the scooter segment. The flat battery storage, for example, and the low center of gravity for dynamic driving fun and playful and easy handling. The low vehicle body with calm, smooth surfaces in contrast with the sharply defined clear edges brings a new urban aesthetics. So, our aim was to bring an emotional quality into play alongside with the practicality of a classic scooter concept. We set out to challenge the common perception of a regular scooter and I think we kept our promise. We brought this forward-thinking design of our concept link into serious production. Highlights such as the floating seat bench, the side loading concept or the disc wheels for example and the clear surface character remind me of very modern architecture just like the BMW belt here. We wanted to design a trend-setting scooter that the owner would be really proud of and I am certain we delivered on this promise. Now let's hear what our friend Hon E and my colleague David in Beijing think about the CE04. Ladies 各位骑士们很高兴再次跟大家见面新能源车辆在我国的保有量逐年增加绿色出行是大势所趋而且中国消费者有很强的出行环保意识所以对纯电动摩托车的需求是非常巨大的是的那么其实呢我们中国的新能源车和这个电池的生产技术啊应该在全
Yeah, good to see you too, my friend. Well, we've seen the excitement for the CE04 from various scooter-loving countries just now, but I'm wondering what everyone watching really wants to know. And of course, it's how much fun it is to ride. So can you please put that into some context for us, Ralph? Yeah, I had, I had the chance to ride the scooter, and I can tell you it is big fun. And most of that is coming out of the having this massive talk from the beginning, from the first meter you're riding. And we're talking about a lower power version with 11 kilowatts and with 15 kilowatts. But uh, in the peak performance, both are much higher. Um, so we are talking about uh, 23 or 31 kilowatts, which is more than 40 horsepower. And that, of course, gives you an idea how it feels when you start at the traffic light together with all the other scooters that will stay clearly behind you. <laughs> yeah. So how does it compare to, say, a traditional motorcycle or scooter? <laughs> Yeah, uh, on the one hand, it is not only the acceleration, it is also the, the type of riding. Everybody who has ridden an electric vehicle uh, knows what I'm talking about. Um, because on the one hand, we have this very, very low center of gravity uh, because of the batteries in the, um, in the scooter themselves. So the weight is mainly quite close to the ground. Uh, that gives you not only the acceleration, but also the cornering of the bike, uh, of the scooter is outstanding here. It is a lot of fun, uh, big fun to ride the bike. So let's go into some technical details then, Ralph. The weight is around 220 kilograms, I believe. So that's about the same size as a mid-sized motorcycle. But tell us the way about, you know, tell us the way the C04 carries its weight. It's a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, as I said before, the center of gravity is much lower than you are used to it uh, from other motorcycles or other scooters because of the batteries being very low in the uh, close to the ground. Um, then you have this acceleration. Uh, Timo said it before. Uh, it is in 2.6 seconds. You are from zero to 50 kilometers, which is a normal speed in in most of the cities. Um, there is no other scooter on the same uh, in the same time on that speed. Uh, and that gives really cool performance with this peak performance. Of course, we are talking about 11 and 15 kilowatts, but as said before, 23 and 31, of course, that is a totally different story. And it is very, very easy to handle. We know that it is mainly driven in, um, ridden in, in cities, so it is much about how to get through the traffic, and everybody will find out that this is really the perfect scooter to travel not only in the city, but also from out outskirts to the city because of the long range we are talking about, 100 or 130 kilometers, even with the, with the higher version. Uh, and 130 kilometers gives you easy uh, possibility to travel from your outskirts, from the valley, wherever, to the city and back without fearing that you are running out of battery. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. That takes away uh, a lot of the uh, worries about things. And you mentioned the acceleration. Did you say 2.5 or 2.6 uh, seconds from zero to 50 kilometers? 50 kilometers now. That's really impressive. Can you say something also about the different riding modes of the C04? Yeah, um, we have different riding modes. Uh, the easiest to understand is, of course, a rain mode. Uh, you need other uh, settings of the scooter when the surface is wet. But we have also a fun mode and an eco mode uh, where you have more acceleration even and um, getting even faster to the, uh, to the peak performance uh, to have even more fun in the city uh, with the bike. But it's not only about the riding itself. It is also that we want the CE04 to be an active part in your life, um, suit into your life, not only for getting from A to B, but also with all the connection in there. So connecting your phone to the bike, having the navigation on a map uh, on this 10-inch uh, TFT screen in there. Um, then the possibility to take phone calls, uh, play your media list in there, and even more when, you, when we come to the beautiful jacket that we will also launch together with the CE04. Um, you have seen the jacket also in the film, and Timo was wearing it. Uh, there are a lot of gadgets in the jacket that is connected directly with your scooter. Even some, let's say, gimmicks. You can change the lights, the color of the lights. Um, 
from green to yellow to blue to red, whatever suits you or fits to your daily outfit, to your shoes, to your lipstick, whatever. Um, and it gives you the possibility to take phone calls directly from the sleeve of, of the sleeve of your of your jacket, or change the color if you say, "Hey, now I'm in a different mood. I want to have another color." You just touch your uh, sleeves, and the color is changing. Or you take a phone call by touching it, or uh, you switch to the next song in your media playlist. Uh, so we try to build a surrounding really uh, around the use case of the C04. And that was very important that it is not only about the outstanding scooter that we have seen now in the film and in the, uh, from my colleagues in the interviews. Um, it is also really integrated into your daily life when it comes to connection. Your phone is connected to the scooter, your jacket is connected to the scooter, and you can, if you don't want to touch your leaf, you can also use a TFT display to change the colors, for example. Superb. That sounds brilliant. Seamlessly connected. I like that. And uh, yeah, all you need is uh, decent battery power as well. And just going back to the batteries for a second, Ralph, because I noted uh, a little bit earlier in the film that the fuel cells in the C04, they're the, they're the same fifth generation battery cells we see in the latest iX and i4 cars. So having this BMW Group Synergy, it's a massive advantage, isn't it, when a new product comes out like this? Absolutely, you're totally right. Here's our big advantage that we are part of the BMW group and that we can benefit from the work from our car colleagues. And as everybody knows, the battery is the heart of the thing and uh, we are benefiting of the newest technologies that will come out um, on some of our cars like the iX end of this year. So here the fifth generation of batteries is serving us in the C04 and that is a big benefit of course having a big company in the back um, putting a lot of effort into research and development of battery technologies. Yeah and you mentioned already the, the really good range of the C04 which I believe is about 130 kilometers or up to depending on how you ride it how hard you pin the throttle. Uh, we talked about the group synergies but everyone's really interested in charging times obviously I guess we top up the battery in the same way as we would our phones. I mean, I plug my phone in when it gets down to about 20%, but I rarely charge it fully. I just take it off after a couple of hours. So what are the realistic charging times with this e-scooter? And what are the options for standard and rapid charging? Yeah, you're absolutely right. You don't wait until zero and then you have to leave your uh, scooter where you are at the moment. So because of that, it is very important the time between the 20% and the 80%. I think that is a normal life, let's say. Um, that is what you do and what you use with your, with your cellular phone. And 20 to 80 percentage of the battery um, is reached by 45 minutes um, around. And the 11 kilowatt version, even five minutes less, uh, so with the fast charging options, uh, you are, after having a coffee, taking a phone call or whatever, you are on 80% after 45 minutes or even 40 minutes with the uh, lower version. Um, and you can ride 80% of these 130 kilometers. Uh, I think that is a big advantage that you don't have to fear that you wait for hours until you get the uh, battery charged again. From uh, zero, if you really ride it to zero uh, to 80%, it will be around an hour, uh, a little bit uh, below an hour. I think also that is possible. When you're riding somewhere, going somewhere, having a coffee, going for lunch or shopping, I think an hour is a good, uh, a good time frame to get your C04 again charged. Yeah, absolutely. That's seriously impressive, isn't it? Time it takes to have a coffee, um, and then you're off on your way again, completely gets rid of that range anxiety thing that we used to know in the past. So uh, yeah, good stuff, good to know. Well, listen, thanks ever so much for now, Ralph. We will come back to you shortly, but I'd like to bring that guy who's sitting quietly in the corner into the conversation. Alex, I'd like to talk about design issues. Good morning, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, good there morning, Andy. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, yeah Andy, good. shoot, shoot. <laughs> yeah, well, well, look, Alex, we're really living in a period of big change in the world at the moment. So what an exciting time to be a designer and trying to predict our future needs and desires. I like that one, predicting the future. As you know, Andy, we have that uh, huge crystal balls. Uh, but unfortunately, I lost mine, so I had to use my boss's small one. 
And uh, let's have a look if our forecast was right. Uh, we're going to see in a few years. Um, <laughs> but uh, seriously, we've been uh, facing uh, tremendous and fundamental changes, and it's great to be part of that. And uh, as a designer, it's um, great to, um, to at least uh, deliver some chunks for the appearance of our age, so to speak. But in fact, um, we don't see ourselves as, as predictors. It's, um, it's somehow exaggerating the, the reality. I mean, of course, we, we feel the vibes, the beads, the trends around us, and uh, we try to decode them and to amplify them. Um, but we are more like, let's say, amplifiers. We try to bail those vibes, those beads, those uh, trends and the technical solutions and try to translate them into a design expression, into a design, let's say, um, yeah, yeah, it, it, design expression. That fits best, I think. And uh, yeah, of course, I'm really excited to be a designer. It's really, really nice to do something fundamental as we did with our CO, uh, CO04. Yeah? This is definitely like that. Yeah, Andy. Yeah, I mean, it looks fantastic sitting there in the studio. It really does. But I'm intrigued to know where your starting point was design wise for it. Because, you know, over the past decade, we've seen various e scooters from BMW and Motorrad that have led us to this point. But I mean, apart from the concept link, the C04, it doesn't actually bear any resemblance at all to any of them. So where did that inspiration come from, Alex? Well, and the, yeah, um, you're totally right. I mean, the, the, the idea behind uh, the, or the, the, the CE scooter was to rethink everything in, um, instead of keeping all these learned thought patterns alive. And I think this is the huge strength of BMW Motorrad, and it shows or it visualizes, you know, so let's say the um, unconditional desire of uh, being the innovative leader in a two-wheel world somehow. And um, yeah, um, in fact, we turned everything upside down. Nothing was left, just, you know, the, um, the BMW badge as well as our C-shaped day running light. I mean, this is, of course, they are no-brainers. This is somehow not negotiable. This is the, the brand identifier. Um, yeah. But uh, let's, let's start like that. I mean, uh, the, the main claim, claim behind that idea, CE, was to become familiar with, a, let's say, a new um, customer mindset, so to speak, yeah? um, above the motorcycle a greater. Yeah? And um, uh, for that journey, of course, you need to be maximum open-minded and a little bit disruptive, too, of course. You can compare it a bit with a, with a balloon flight. First, you have to drop all your, let's say, learned knowledge yeah, to lift, to get the, the balloon into motion. And uh, the closer we get to our, um, let's say, uh, uh, customers, we understood that those urban nodes, especially in these metropolitan regions, such as Barcelona, Milan, Madrid, and Paris, those uh, urban nodes have a need for maximum versatility because their way of mobility and their entire life must be maximum seamless. Um, they use different uh, mobility concepts during the day, you know, from um, our CE up to the underground to the suburban train, uh, train to bicycles and you name it. And uh, because of that, and this is mega important too, yeah, um, even their gear and garment needs to be seamless integrated into their daily life uh, to compare, for example, with other, um, let's say, protection gears, so to speak. Um, that's why our jacket um, has that uh, distinctive uh, casual smell or style because uh, they don't want to look like a fish out of water if they are in front of a bank or in a, on a bus stop or something like that. And um, yeah, beside that, of course, there is an intrinsic need for, uh, for, let's say, communication, digital as well as analog, of course. And um, yeah, to make, uh, to make it short, um, the, main, the main inspiration behind the CE scooter is um, or was to gain maximum versatility and a kick-ass appearance by non-conventional thinking. Yeah, yeah and um, yeah, this is, um, yeah, let's say the, the mine inspiration or it, it, uh, it, 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 this mine inspiration led right away into, let's say, five points, yeah, into more flex due to uh, reachability of both baggage compartments, more flex by the flat and floating seat, of course, connectivity, um, the blank canvas like huge and calm surfaces for communication, and finally, um, the, the casual styled garment. And um, this uh, is the inspiration, and finally, the reason why our CE04 is that radical different to or compared to all the other scooters on the market. 
Fantastic. Thanks for that uh, detailed explanation there, Alex. That's brilliant. It's, it's hard when people from marketing and PR side ask designers to explain <laughs> what the reason, what reasons why and how they think about the things they do, but it's a really good one. So thanks for that. Listen, when I first saw pictures of that concept link back in 2017, I was riding across Southeast Asia at the time on a GS and all the streets there, they were choked with noisy, polluting scooters. And by contrast, the pictures of that concept bike I saw on that day, it looked so clean, it looked so futuristic, and, and here we are today. And the C04 I can see there, it's, it's lost none of the original concept's edge, despite the usual constraints of serial production. So you must be delighted from that, you know, from a design perspective to keep it so close to the original vision. Yeah, Andy, you're totally right. I mean, what a question. Yes, I'm definitely delighted. I'm, I'm let's say, insanely delighted. It's, uh, it's always cool if you could deliver something what you have uh, promised. And uh, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's mega nice because we are that incredibly close. You, you named it already. Yeah? Uh, we are that incredibly close to our uh, concept link. Yeah, I'm mega delighted about that. Yeah. Superb. Now let's talk about ergonomics for a minute because great design and user-friendly ergonomics, they don't always go hand in hand. So how much effort went into maximizing the appeal and the versatility of the C04 for all types and all sizes of users without actually compromising on the design? Yeah, Andy, I, I got your point, but in fact, ergonomics is somehow a no-brainer, let's say, hygienic to BMW Motorrad. We always spend a lot of energy into finding a purpose-driven, let's say, versatility. And um, yeah, to, to find the right balance in between expression and ergonomics, so to speak. And uh, don't forget that these main features, yeah, the key features for more versatility was uh, somehow, um, let's say, conceived by the design. Yeah? And uh, so that's why, you know, th those things like our baggage compartment as well as these flattened floating seat was from the begin beginning on part of our sketches. Yeah? And um, yeah, look, Andy, for example, if we talk about the side loading baggage compartment, um, now you could reach both compartments while sitting on the scooter. So it's much more comfortable compared to, uh, let's say, conventional scooters. So it's not needed anymore to stop the scooter, to hop off, you know, to put it on the main stand, to flip the seat to reach the trunk. Now you can sit easily on your scooter and reach the, um, let's say, the glove box as well as um, the side loading baggage compartment. How cool is that? This is really, really special and definitely a USP for our um, CE04. And uh, beside that, of course, we have these, uh, uh, let's say, longboard-like flat and floating seat. And uh, even here, every body type, it doesn't matter, huge or, or uh, uh, tall or small, everybody will find their individual seat position. And uh, on top of that, you can even adjust your, your uh, let's say, riding position according to the uh, traffic uh, circumstances, so to speak. This means if you would like to sit more active, of course, you can go closer to the bike. Yeah, if you would like to sit more relaxed, you go more behind and you have a feet forward position. And um, this is uh, somehow really, really, really uh, special, so to speak, uh, to, to, our, um, to our scooter. And um, yeah, I mean, to uh, cut a, short, a long story short, yeah, since we had that idea with the um, side loading baggage compartment as well with the flat and floating seat, yeah, they became somehow a permanent um, companion um, in our sketches. Um, so it was from the beginning on involved into the design process. And um, yeah, it has affected um, massively all the rest of the styling of the of these uh, CU scooter. And um, yeah, in fact, the longboard like uh, floating seat was somehow the starting point for all these vertical and horizontal lines. And um, yeah, so definitely it was from the beginning on part of the um, for, of the expression and definitely not a contradiction. Yes, it's funny just sort of seeing you sit, sitting on it in the studio there and now I'm trying to imagine it parked in the street next to a traditional scooter. Now I'm, sh I'm pretty sure it would make the typical scooter seem quite dated. So do you think that this significant shift in design language could influence the way that other scooters are actually going to look in the future? <laughs> and again, I mean, I lost my crystal ball. Yeah, it's really difficult to predict that. Uh, uh, predict that uh, seriously, um, but yeah, especially um, in terms of the pure styling, there is a potential to influence other scooters, of course. Um, but we we're gonna see somehow, more or less, in a way, we're gonna see. Yeah. 
Okay, pure styling. So that was something you just mentioned there. Just talk us through some of the styling behind, is it the avant-garde model that you're sitting on there? And also maybe some of the options and accessories available in terms of seating and expandable storage space? Yeah, um, Andy, let's talk about these, uh, let's say, um, uh, the, the avant-garde. I really like that one. I really like it. It's my personal recommendation to the audience too. And I guess, Andy, it would fit even to you really, really nicely. Um, yeah, but basically, um, yeah, our um, avant-garde is, um, let's say, all the, 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 the main body panels are painted in grey. It's called Maglan Grey Metallic. And I guess my dear colleagues from Color and Trim Department, they made a great, great job because um, these special treatment or these, uh, let's say, um, special uh, uh, paint for the, for the, for the uh, bike gives a certain depth, a certain movement by the reflections to the, to these, um, uh, um, yeah, to the CE. Um, so it's, um, let's say, already pretty prominent um, and expressive in a way. So it's somehow the contrabalance to these, uh, let's say, huge and calm surfaces. So it works fantastic to the CE. Um, it's the ideal solution for all those who don't want to individualize their uh, CE scooter. Basically, for all, um, you know, if you're going to keep your um, CE scooter in, let's say, stock conditions, so to speak. And um, yeah, this avant-garde is already, let's say, pre-equipped with lots of stickers, you know, and uh, pre-configured with these uh, fancy, um, uh, flashy orange windshield and together with the black and orange seat. Both really, really important to increase somehow the, um, let's say, the, uh, the, the, the contrast in the, in the, in the, in the bike. Um, but I guess uh, seeds is the right keyword because we're gonna deliver six different seeds together with the stock seed. Um, we, have, um, we have ones with, the, with an integrated backrest, some without. But just the ones with the, with the integrated backrest, um, we're gonna deliver in two different seat heights, in 780 and in 80, the high one, the more comfy one. And, uh, just uh, the ones with the, with the integrated backrest, of course, we deliver also with different, let's say, um, yeah, backrest positions. We have a four aft and, a, and we have a four one and an aft solution. And uh, to make it even more complicated, or <laughs> let's say, yeah, um, we have uh, just the, the low one, the 780 one, we have in black and orange and the high one in 800. So much easier to understand is the one without the backrest. We have just in 780 and two color combinations, black and orange and um, black and gray. And uh, on top of that, um, we have um, some, some more options you know, for expandable storage spaces like our Vario top case, of course. As the name already suggests, you can increase the storage space by, uh, in between uh, two easy steps, let's say from 25 liters to 35 liters. And on top of that, we have our waterproof urban collection, uh, soft bag collection. Um, it's available with two side bags and a top bag and uh, totally waterproof. Keep that in mind. Wow, there's a lot going on there, that's for sure. So what about actually in terms of individualization? What other options are there to really personalize your own CE04, Alex? Yeah, I mean, the, the CE04 is screaming, is screaming yeah, to be individualized because of that special treated surfaces. And um, during the process, uh, we, uh, we made tons of different sketches. Yeah? We made lots of artworks, and um, a few of them I have today in the shelf. Um, may I can inspire you a little bit, just in case of you would like to, uh, let's say, individualize your scooter. So let's start with, um, with um, uh, our, uh, let's say, street art version. Can we show it? Yes, perfect. This stuff is, um, it's really bold. It's a bold graphic, yeah, this airbrush, uh, airbrush stuff. It's, it's really colorful. And um, the more I look at that picture, I see a kind of ammunition belt running around these, uh, these baggage compartment loaded with lots of spray cans. This would be really awesome. But anyway, the next one we have uh, Ali, um, our California uh, edition yeah, with these fancy California colors and these um, ape hanger bar. <laughs> Maybe this is a little bit naive. This is not <laughs> possible to do that. But it shows what you can do out of that. And um, the latest one, this is my personal favorite, don't uh, uh, 
forget about these uh, spring seed. This is not possible to do that. But you know the the black bold color I really like on that uh, on that scooter, especially with these uh, bold white graphic from Wheels and Waves. I really like that. So keep that in mind. It's a nice way to way to individualize uh, your CE scooter. Um, but again. Um, in case of you would like to, to individualize your CE scooter, of course, my personal recommendation would be in most of the cases, the, uh, the pure white one, the more reduced one, the more calm one, the understated one, the light white uni version um, is the best base for that. Because um, on that one, your messages stickers will have definitely the biggest punch, the biggest impact. And um, um, for all those, who liked our 2019 show scooter. Yep, that one, this is really cool. It's called Definition um, CE04. Um, we have, uh, we're gonna deliver a, a sticker kit, yeah? And not surprisingly called Style Definition. If I understood it right, um, we have that sticker kit in two options. Um, with the stickers for the rear wheel and without. But of course, my recommendation is of course with the rear wheel because this fits brilliant to this scooter. So keep that in mind. This is a nice opportunity to, let's say, pimp up your scooter, your extraordinary scooter into something daring, into something extraterrestrial, right? <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, yeah. Moving the goalposts yet again, Alex. Make no apologies for the football analogy, but loads of choice <laughs> and some real USPs for BMW Motorrad. So, wow. Well, I guess you're all talked out now, but we've maybe just got a few minutes left. So, um, yeah, let's see if we've got any questions that have come in from our community. So, uh, might have to bring you back into the four for this one, Ralph, at the back. But, uh, okay, let's have a look at the first one. Okay. How safe is it to can you read that? Rain? Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you get an electric shock? Of course not. Uh, everything is waterproofed. Um, and we know that we have done, of course, our homeworks and we have a long history in doing waterproof bikes. Um, that holds true also for the battery in a normal combustion engine. So don't fear about that. Uh, that is all safe and, of course, waterproof. And also the, uh, the luggage compartment is waterproof. So it's not only the battery. It's also if you put your laptop in there or something, it is waterproofed. So it's not just going to be sold in uh, sunny climates. In the UK, it'll work as well. How much distance per full battery? How much distance? Yeah, for the 11 kilowatts, it is 100 kilometers. Um, and for the 15 kilowatts, we are talking about 130 ki kilometers of range. Um, but of course, it is always very depending on uh, your style of riding uh, the scooter. So if you have 20 traffic lights in a row and always accelerate uh, maximum, probably the 130 kilometers are not reached. But that is in average for normal use in town 130 kilometers i think people will just enjoy putting the throttle as much as possible and then just plugging it in again why wouldn't you i'm nearly two meters tall i'm nearly two <laughs> meters tall actually would i be too big for this scooter this could be from anthony muller or it could be from andy duke so uh, yeah would i be too big for this scooter I I love that question because um, we choose Alex not only because he's a brilliant designer, we choose him <laughs> also because he's nearly two meters tall. Um, so Alex, sit on it. Uh, yes, you're 190 on and a little bit, I think, and he's looking great. So it's 190 and it fits. I guess two meters should be fit too, I guess. Huh? Especially with a seat bench where you can find your position as you would like it. Exactly. Um, I exactly. think that is a big advantage compared with normal seats that you know from the markets. Uh, here you can go in the into the back and even put your long legs uh, into the scooter. No problem. Good stuff. I guess the answer is no one too tall, no one too small. So absolutely brilliant. Okay. Is the motor completely silent? Can you hear it when riding? Good question. Um, the motor itself is silent, but there are other things on the bike that you hear. Um, for example, the tires on the street, um, the belt drive in the back, uh, they all make sound. Um, and just to give you an insight, even with a combustion engine, above 50 or 60 kilometers an hour, you don't hear anymore the, the engine itself. We hear mostly the wind um, and the tires on the street, and of course this sound stays also with an electric uh, vehicle. So there is a little sound, but of course much less than in a combustion engine. Okay, good to know, good, no noise pollution. Okay, 
Does the CE04 get warm from the motor and battery cells? Interesting. How is it cooled and does the cooling affect the rider? Good question, Joseph. Yes, of course it gets warm. Uh, there's a lot of energy in there and when it is working um, it gets warm and we cooled uh, the engines as the batteries. We are cooling them uh, with water, uh, So, but this cooling is not affecting the rider. Uh, so don't uh, fear that you need to have a jacket because of the air cooled, uh, the liquid cooled engine and battery. Good to know. Okay, next question please. Great design. But what is the weather protection like? Ah, always the practical question. I might put that one to the designer just to see what his answer is. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, of course, we thought about the weather protection too. And as you see, you know, we have a, a huge front, yeah, what is, um, you know, basically coming from a huge scooter. So that means you have definitely the, the, same, the same protection as on a conventional scooter. So it's nothing different. We have also the windshield in two options, a small one and a big one. So don't uh, fear about that. We have definitely enough stuff, you know, in the shelf to protect you, to keep you really cozy. Good to know, good to know. Okay, which driver's license is needed? Yeah, good question. Ralph? Com complicated questions because it depends very much on the country you are living in. Um, in most European countries you can ride the 11 kilowatts version with 16 years old with the A1 um, version of the, of the rider license and from 18 years old in most of the countries, um, you can ride the 15, 15 kilowatts variant, but that is differs from country to country. So I can't say how it is in your country. Sorry, uh, in Germany, I could tell you. No problem at all. I think the question, the answer there is just check check out with your local dealer. So, all right, storage space. How much storage space is there in total, and what are my options for more? Great scooter, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. you know I guess we have to do that together. <laughs> I know that the main compartment uh, at least has uh, 20 liters, so that means uh, a complete um, helmet fits into it. But beside that, I mean, as I mentioned, we have uh, lots of uh, side bags. We have this uh, top case. Look, this value top case, for example, has um, 25 to 35 liters. Um, from these uh, soft bags, I know that the side bags have uh, 10 liters each. And for the top case itself, maybe Dr. Ralph knows it. I don't know, but it has a certain space. <laughs> I can promise you. <laughs> it's a little bit below 20 uh, liters also, uh, and also expandable. So there are a lot of options to put your luggage on the scooter. Um, not only the compartment itself, but also the top case, the side cases, and these beautiful um, soft bags on the back. Yeah, I mean, you can travel around the world with just one bag, so there's definitely enough uh, luggage capacity on there for sure. Okay, we've got a, we've got a doubter. I, I don't oh, think the, the battery doubters. will last that long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, here again, um, the experience of the BMW group and our car colleagues comes into the, into the game. Um, we are really benefiting out of that, that we have the huge research and developing uh, departments uh, from the car colleagues in the back. And here, because we tested it so uh, massively um, and recharged it again and again and again. So that is the reason why the scooter itself has two years of guarantee, but on the batteries, we guarantee you for five years, at least 80% of the beginning uh, energy in the battery. So five years of gen of uh, guarantee because we are so convinced of our battery technologies. Good, confident answer there. Thanks for that one, Ralph. Okay, I like to work on my bike and get my hands dirty. Me too. Is the CE04 completely maintenance free? Where do these questions come from? I <laughs> like that one. Okay, can you still get your hands dirty? Can you still fettle? Can you still fiddle around with it? You don't need a um, for that, right? <laughs> I would recommend to dirty your hands by 
individualization of the of the scooter or whatever all the beautiful things Alex showed you um, but the maintenance is not totally free but it is much much better than you are used to it from combustion engine uh, bikes and scooters uh, where you ask every year for a service here it is only every second year and the first service is after 10,000 kilometers so it is not completely maintenance free but it is much much longer period in between compared with combustion engine uh, bikes and scooters yeah and do what a lot of us do right Ralph we get ourselves an old timer so we can get our hands dirty and uh, use one of these things for uh, moving around the city okay I think we've got time for one more question so here we go. I like belt drive. I had an F800 GT with one once. Did you also consider chain or shaft drive for this model? Not for this particular model. Uh, I can tell you here, the, I think the belt drive is really the perfect solution. Uh, very low maintenance. Actually, it is maintenance free. Uh, they are running for thousands of kilometers. They are very quiet uh, compared to chains. Um, so that was from the beginning, the perfect solution. But when we're talking about electric mobility uh, for the future of BMW Motorrad, there's more to come, of course, and we see also other versions, like we have uh, shown it in some of our concept bikes. Um, there's also the possibility, for example, for a shaft drive here. Yeah. Interesting times ahead, that's for sure. Well, listen, we're pretty much out of time now. In fact, we've been rolling for just over an hour, so I guess that's you could have charged a CE04 for that, couldn't you? So <laughs> thanks, Ralph, and Val, thanks, Alex, for all your input. We really appreciate getting these insights. And a big thanks to all of you across the globe Thank for you. joining us today. Certainly exciting and more sustainable times ahead, that's for sure. If we've got you curious and you want to learn more about this silent revolution, we've got loads more info right across our channels, and you know where to find us. Also, I think some of the national markets are going to be doing deep dive podcasts in their own languages or even roadshows on this seamlessly integrated new world of the CE04. So look out for those too. Until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe, keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down. Bye for now.